five numbers. Chanel, Paris. Number one, Rue Cambon. Immerse yourself in the Rue Cambon, synonymous with Chanel, and walk past the numbers 21, where it all began in 1910 when Gabrielle Chanel opened her millinery shop, then 29, 25, 23, 27, and now 19, where season after season, Karl Lagerfeld's collections are presented. Enter, finally, at 31, the address of a lifetime. Climb the staircase that so many clients and celebrities have ascended. Coco covered its walls with mirrors, arranged so that her designs would multiply infinitely and her legend would be reflected for all time. Sit on a step, the vantage point from which Mademoiselle, hidden from view, oversaw the presentation of her collections. Descend to the salons on the first floor. Until 1971, young women from high society modeled designs in these rooms. Today, only celebrities and haute couture clients have their fittings in this palace of white, beige and black, designed by Karl Lagerfeld. Reach the inner sanctum, the atelier. Here, she made and remade her designs directly on the models, cigarette at her lips, scissors about her neck and pins in hand. To create the collections of tomorrow, Cal Lagerfeld has refashioned the space. Versailles hardwood sheathed in silver leaf, windows veiled in organdy, white walls covered with sketches. Reach the last two floors where the head seamstresses and the dressmakers, all in white aprons, bring the sketches to life. Number two, the apartment. Leave the black and white sobriety of the salons and immerse yourself in the baroque world of Mademoiselle's apartment, which she seems to have just left. A foyer, a study, a living room, a dining room, no bedroom. A harmonious chaos, where each object reveals Gabrielle Chanel's inspiration without divulging her secrets. Screens of Coromandel lacquer, octagonal mirrors, a chandelier adorned with camellias, the five, the two and the double C monogram, stylized stalks of wheat, Buddhas, lines and statues of the Virgin Mary and Aphrodite, which internally stand guard. Number three, the Ritz. Indulge at the Ritz, where Gabrielle Chanel takes residence in 1937. First in a suite with the view of the Place Vendôme, later in two rooms overlooking the Rue Combo. Here she will pass away one night in January 1971. Number 4, 18 Place Vendôme. Open the door of the Hotel Cressard, which was entirely refurbished by Chanel in 1997 to house its fine jewellery collections. She was the first woman and the first couturier to step into this opulent world where her name still endures, La Place Vendôme. Number 5, the Grand Palais. Gaze upon the monumental theatre of the Chanel runway shows, the Grand Palais. Under its towering dome, magical sets make each collection a revolution. A forest of oak and pine, a Venetian lion 40 feet tall, a shivering ice flow, an immense French garden punctuated with fountains, or, as on a film set, the Rue Cambon identically recreated. With Karl Lagerfeld, fashion takes on the world and Paris remains eternally shining in Chanel.